Hi everyone, this teacher Mel. Today we are going to verify if a given relation is a function. Determine whether the relation is a function or not. So I have here a set of ordered pairs. For me to identify if this relation is a function or not, ito lang ang dapat nating tatandaan. If the domain or first set is being repeated, then the relation is not a function. Kapag ang domain daw natin or, or yung first set ay nauulit, ibig sabihin yung relation is not a function. Okay. So, ang ginagawa ko kapag meron akong set of ordered pairs, sinusulat ko siya vertically. Like this. 0, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 3, 1, 4, 2. Same lang siya sa example ng ordered pairs natin sa taas. Ang pinagkaiba lang, sinulat ko siya vertically. And then, iti-check ko ang kanyang x values. Iti-check natin ang x values or the domain. Okay, may note tayo sa baba na if the domain, kapag ang domain natin or yung first set ay nauulit, ibig sabihin yung relation is not a function. Okay, tinan natin ang ating x values or the domain o yung first set natin. Meron bang naulit na values? 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Meron bang naulit? Okay, wala. Dahil walang naulit sa ating x values or sa domain natin, ibig sabihin, this is a function. Okay, let's have another example. Kung meron tayong 0, 5, negative 4, negative 2, negative 3 and 2, negative 4 and negative 3, 1 and negative 5, Ang unang gagawin natin, isusulat muna natin siya vertically. Okay, sinulat na natin siya vertically. Next, tingnan natin ang kanyang domain or yung x values niya. Tingnan natin. We have 0, negative 4, negative 3, negative 4, and 1. Meron bang values na naulit sa x? Meron. Yung negative 4 at negative 4. Okay, just a reminder Kapag ang domain natin or yung first set ay nauulit, ibig sabihin, it's not a function. Since ating example number 2, naulit sa negative 4, ibig sabihin, this is not a function. Next is we need to determine whether the relation is a function or not using a mapping diagram. So using mapping diagram, aalamin natin kung ang relation ay function nga ba or not. Okay, just a reminder, kapag yung domain natin or yung first set is being paired twice or more, then the relation is not a function. Kung na-pair siya ng dalawang beses ang ating domain, ibig sabihin hindi yon function. Okay? Okay, we have here an example. Ang ating domain o yung first set natin ay 0, 1, 2, 3. Si 0, isang beses na pair, kay 3 lang. Si 1, isang beses din na pair kay number 2 lamang. Si 2, isang beses din na pair, kay 5 lamang. Si 3, isang beses lamang na pair, kay 7 lamang. Ibig sabihin, the first set example natin ay function. Bakit siya function? Function kasi ang x values natin or yung first set natin is what we call the domain ay isang beses lamang siya na pair sa set B or sa ating second set or yung ating range. Kaya siya tinatawag na function. Let's have another example. 0 is being mapped to 5. C1 is being mapped to 7. C2 is being mapped to 5. C3 is being mapped to 7. Okay. Mapapansin natin na ang ating first set is being pair once. 0 kay 5 lamang. C1 kay 7. C2 kay 5. C3 kay 7. Ibig sabihin, this is a function. Another one. Another example. We have here our x, which is 4, maps to 2. C4 is being paired to 3. C4 is being paired to 5. C4 is being paired to 7. Okay. Based sa ating example, ang ating first set or yung domain natin is being paired twice or more. Na paired siya four times. Kay 2, kay 3, kay 5, kay 7. Ibig sabihin, this is not a function. Hindi siya function. Kasi, 
na paired ang ating x values o yung domain natin ng madaming beses. Dapat hindi siya na paired ng madaming beses. Dapat once lamang para masabing it's a function. Another example. We have 1 and 3. 1 is being maps to 2. 1 is being paired to 3. Yung 3 being paired to 5. Yung 3 being paired to 7. This is a function or not? Okay, very good. This is not a function. Bakit siya not a function? Kasi ang ating first set, which is 1 and 2, ay na-paired sila twice sa ating range, which is the y values. Si 1 kay 2 at kay 3. Si 3 naman kay 5 and 7. Sabi ko nga kanina, if it's being paired twice or more, then it's not a function. Therefore, this is not a function. Now we need to determine whether the graph is a function or not. Para ma-identify natin kung ang ating graph is a function or not, gagamit tayo ng vertical line test. Anong ibig sabihin ng vertical line test? How it works? Okay, so the graph is a function kung ang vertical line test natin crosses once sa ating graph. Ibig sabihin, if the vertical line you draw intersect, intersect the graph more than once for any value of x, then the graph is not a graph of a function. If, alternatively, a vertical line intersect the graph no more than once, no matter where the vertical line is placed, then the graph is the graph of a function. Ibig sabihin, kapag nag-draw tayo ng vertical line test sa ating graph, kung nag-cross lang siya once sa ating graph, then it's a function. Pero kung twice siya nag-cross sa ating graph, ibig sabihin, it's not a function. Okay, try natin. For the first one. Okay, so isang best lang siya nag-cross. Doon lang sa part na yon. Okay, try natin sa ibang part. Okay, mapapansin nyo, isang beses lang siyang nag-touch sa ating graph. Okay, so ibig sabihin, this is a function. Oh, for the other one naman. Ayan. So, mapapansin nyo, for this one, dalawang beses siyang nag-touch sa graph natin. Ayan. So, kahit i-move natin ang ating vertical line test, dalawang beses pa din siyang nag-touch sa ating graph. Here, and sa upper part. So, ibig sabihin, dahil, dahil dalawang beses siya nag-cross sa ating graph, it's not a function. Another example. Ayan, mapapansin nyo, for this one, 3 times siyang nag-touch sa ating graph. Kahit ilipat natin ang ating vertical line test, ah, tatlong beses pa din siyang nag-touch sa ating graph. Ibig sabihin, this is not a function. Another one, this one. Okay, kahit ilipat natin ang ating vertical line test, isang beses lang siyang nag-touch sa ating graph, sa ating x values. Ibig sabihin, this is a function. Okay, just a reminder, the graph is a function if the vertical line test crosses once. Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to comment below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more math videos. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.